What is going on everyone? My name is Wani Lego Alex and we are um, back with Rainbow Six Siege after that really long video about PD2. I mean I've been posting some uh, funny clips actually about Rainbow Six Siege but this one is gonna be a little different and it's gonna be definitely more useful than the ones that I posted those were mainly for entertainment. Um, in this video I really wanted to show you guys um, how to use smoke grenades in a better way that m most people use them. I mean, I see people just Chinese using smoke grenades to make the enemies fall back and retreat in case they are really close to coming inside and you just wanna push them back. Which is, I mean, it's pretty useful, don't get me wrong, but I would really like if, um, they w if the grenades would be used as they should be used so in a more tactical way. Let me just take care of these guys. Okay. <laughs> so I, uh, as you can see, I'm I'm doing this mission. I'm doing the situation, unfortunately, because I cannot um, start up um, like a custom match and just roam around the map. I have to do this, but it's gonna be fine. And we're gonna stop in the basement. So the first part that I would say you want to try is pl uh, place your grenade is this one because a lot of people obviously come from this door and if you place your grenade right here in a really specific spot it's pretty much it's almost like you cannot see it unless I mean there is no way you can see it unless you turn your back around but even if you do, you there is a really hard chance, and English. honestly, I just threw it right here, but if you have, like, if you throw it better, you might even be able to hide it behind this thing. Uh, just make sure not to shoot it out. And, oh shit, other people are coming, okay. Let me just... <laughs> okay, so, as you can see, if you blow this one, it infects this area, which is really useful. And these two barrels are actually a really good spot because you can do this. I mean, come on. You can see the red light, but it, it's gonna be extremely hard to be honest. And. Where is he? Again? So Still trying. So you can place it either there, right here. Or another good spot in this area is. Um, like behind this thing, behind every everywhere here, as long as you can try this out, as long as you they cannot see it, and as long as it's placed properly, you can you can put it in a good spot. As you can see, the smoke is old in this area. So this area has a lot of good any spots, but the two I showed are the main ones you might want to use. Now we'll pass on this this area before wait we need to kill these guys nope hmm. since we're in the stairs uh, I wanna show you this part which is extremely useful if you place it right about here and you blow it, the stairs just get completely bust. I mean, not these stairs, but this part of the stairs. If, if you see someone coming down the stairs, they are pretty much So yeah, that's another spot, and I'll be back with you in a second. Here we are, guys. Sorry for the cut, but yeah, I had to do it. And we are on, we were on the stairs, and I really want to show you guys this thing, these pipes. They are on pretty much every floor I think and the trick you can do with these pipes is let me place it properly this I mean the enemy will never see this like you cannot even see the red light 
And if you see someone e on the stairs, not exactly coming down the stairs here, just activate it and this whole area gets smoked. You'll see um, you'll see later that you can do it on the other floors too. Uh, 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 um. These guys are dead. So, passing on to this room, I mean, people like to breach here and there, there could be a bomb. But uh, there are there are few spots, but honestly, it's not the best. Wait, one. One spot I actually find really useful though. It's under this table. If you crouch and you place it like anywhere, honestly, like this. Unless the enemy is crouching near it, near the table. There is a li really hard chance that they can see it, and if you blow it on a, if you blow it, yeah, as you can see, I mean, it doesn't look like, yeah. If you go into it, the, the smoke is visible. Sometimes it doesn't affect them, but as you can see, it's a pretty good spot, and it smokes a lot of um, a lot of the area, and you can do it by placing uh, placing the um, the thing behind here as well. If they like, if they place the bomb. And you know you have a bomb here, a gas bomb. If they place the diffuser here, you can place that there. Or, well, not like that, but in a better way. And just smoke this area. So if they're hiding behind here. Because they usually do. They usually hide behind here. Or stay outside. Now, passing on to here. Before we kill these guys. He tried. These benches right here are a good way of... Are a good spot for placing them because a lot of people love to play to um, bridge this wall uh, especially therm even if it's thermited they usually go for this wall and get a line of sight on inside the area you're defending but if you place grenades right here you can place grenades gas grenades here in this spot which is a little visible like if they have a drone they might see it but Usually, like if someone comes from here, as you can see, even from cr even if he's crouching, he has to like look around like this. And even if he does, he needs to be in, in this spot to see it. And it's a really useful spot because if they breach from here, bam, they are smoked. They get damaged. They have to retreat. That's a good spot too. Or you can place it as well um, here if you I don't know find it better, but. Yeah, like that, and then smoke again, if they're like, um, trying to hide behind this, these things. And, or, uh, honestly, in any, any area, like, behind, under this, these things, is pretty, pretty good. Uh, passing on to the actual room, I have a couple of spots, but I don't think too many. And one I find useful, though, is actually right there, where we are starting. But before I need to refuel, and I think those enemies are bugged, which is good for me, I guess. But anyway, I don't, I didn't get the grenades, but I'll try with the C4. You can place a gas grenade right here, right under this thing. Let me see if I can. Well, the C4 is a whole different thing, but you can place one right there. And if they try to oh. Man I don't know why I did that. And if they try to come from here, they are like, they breached the door and this one didn't work, the one we, we you saw before. You can place one either right here, right behind these things. Behind, I mean, you can even try to, like... Yeah, right there. But I don't know. That's kind of hard. Or right here. If you if you find a good spot, you may be be able to like place it down right there, and they might they might not see it because they're looking this way. So like these two things are a good spot to place them. And there is also like, if they're if they even if they come in from this area, you can place it in the middle of. Uh, yeah, you can see there is a big space already. Can you please stop trying to breach? It's getting old. Thanks. 
and so yeah you can place it exactly like here and it will smoke everything or I don't know you, you go good old school and you can like place it right there near the light as it's very hard to see so either there or there but if you place it there you need to be careful because they might shoot it out because they can see it from here and that's pretty much it for this floor just in time to kill this one one and two and that's it for this area i'll see you back on the fourth floor okay guys we are back and we are gonna do the um, first floor now or i mean i guess it's the um, the main floor because the other one is a basement so yeah call it how you want but i have just a uh, quick thing to tell you this room there is pretty much nothing like i tried but i figured there is no point since this one is probably is or usually a defending point so there is really impo no point in smoking your teammates unless someone comes through there but if someone comes through you can just throw um, a bomb right there to push them back or right here so it's not really much of a problem so these guys are coming Sorry about this, but <laughs> Okay, let's revive him And I'll show you the spot So We can start from right here actually Cause this little place, space right here has a lot of really cool spots you can use you can place it right here and wow like right there with this red light there is no way they're gonna see that and it will smoke this entire place or another sneaky spot could be um, i'll show you same in the same spot pretty much but in a different way it could be right there well Right, I said there. As you can see, like, it's pretty, there is no way you can see that. It's pretty much the same, uh, same effect, and it could also gas these guys too. But I mean, I guess you can use this one if you like it more. And this thing right here, this wooden panel. I know you, you may be, you may like say, oh well, you can see the light, but uh, I mean. With, if it's night, if it's day, especially, they won't see it. And most people don't like pay attention to that kind of stuff because they don't think, like they don't, people don't think you will use smoke bombs that way. People usually are afraid of smoke bombs. People are usually afraid of smoke bombs because, I mean, they are afraid in the sense that they know that you're gonna throw them, so they'll get scared, but they will just run away. So they won't expect an actual gas bomb to go off like that, randomly. And uh, something I didn't mention in the video, uh, before on the first part, but instead of nitro cells, as I it's a nitro cell because this is a um, situation you have three. Instead of nitro cells, you really should take barbed wire, and you may say, well, why? Because if you place barbed wire here, they like to destroy it somehow and get stuck. And if you blow this, and if you blow that, they are done. They are done for good. Because they will get stuck in the barbed wire, and if they are slow-moving characters like this guy right here, a shield, it will take a lot of time for them to move out and to actually, like, survive and i don't care if he's being killed but another good spot here which is probably the only one if you know they're breaching from here which most people now don't do that but still it's fine a really sneaky spot is actually behind these books right here as you can see you can even place it better but as you can see it will smoke this entire area i'll get back to you in a second <laughs> is that 
Okay guys, we are back in this floor and we're gonna move on to this little area which is a really really important area because if the bomb is right here people will definitely come through here and this car is the key to hide your smoke bombs so if you crouch and you like look here you can place a really really sneaky smoke bomb Keine right there now you cannot even see the red light and if you blow it it will blow the entire space around the car so if someone is hiding behind it they're gonna have to retreat and if they are right here they're gonna have to retreat too or they will just die and you may get a cheeky kill but if you prefer to have a better i don't know smoke you can place it there but it's gonna be way more visible so if you can see someone coming through the door you may get him he, he may not see it but usually they do let me take care of these guys. What? There you go. Sorry, I have to go back and forth, but <laughs> this is kind of the only way. And we'll go back. Back up. Use the ladder this time so it's quicker. So, you can play around with the uh, spots for this car, how much you want. You could even, I don't know, place it here or inside the car, but you'll see. I mean, I haven't tried yet. You can you can do that too. Another spot, I mean, you can do this with pretty much every door, but this is going to be very useful. Because the light is going to hide it a little bit. You need to place it better though, like... like. Ooh! like that if you place it like that it's gonna obviously smoke down because if you don't if you don't know smoke grenades work in a way that whatever the le red light is pointing we, it will smoke so this is like the perfect smoke if you, if you know someone is coming from here or, or hiding there and they're gonna like get killed i think if you if you play barbed wire there that you're gonna definitely gonna get killed because a lot of people are gonna gr group up and it's gonna be really hard for them to get away um, here, actually, if they breach from here, and most people, if when they breach, they like to hit, hide behind here. Um, you can place one right here, but first, first thing first. Geisel verletzt. Sie wurde von feindlichem Feuer getroffen. Er belebt. Beschützt sie. So I'll show you the spot we were talking about before, and one last spot. And then we'll move on to the um, first floor, yeah? First floor. So you, you can place a bomb right here. And if someone... Angriff, as you can see, I smoke. Bam. If someone comes through here, if someone actually tries to come through here, they're gonna get smoked. And this is a good way of... If you place it right there, ah, pre if you like, if you know they are gonna come from there and you place it here, before they actually get you, you're gonna get killed. <laughs> no, but you're gonna get, um, you're gonna be less exposed as uh, if you were trying to actually throw it at them. Because if you were, if you try to throw it at them while they already breached, that's not gonna end well, my friend. Yeah, I time traveled, so I'm still alive. <laughs> so another good spot. Uh, is gonna be be uh, um, like for the f like for the basement. Uh, tables are really good spot to hide. Oh, to hide smoke bombs. I don't know where I threw that. <laughs> so if you do it better than me, yeah. If you come here and you place it right there, if you know that there could be a situation where you have to defend two bombs, one here, and one here. So you you may have to like you may have them coming from here. You could use this spot, I mean, it's not really the best, but it's decent. And another good spot is that if you're defending this area, if you're defending a bomb right here, or if you just know that someone is inside this room, they're most likely gonna be uh, this this piano. So you could do this, and they're gonna get smoked from behind cover. Now we're gonna kill that fucker. Kill that fucker. And... Kill the other two guys. And any... I'm pretty sure that's all the spots for... Um, uh, 
That is definitely all the spots for the, um, the first floor or the, um, the zero floor, I guess. So I can go back up there and see if I forgot anything, but I think we should be done with that spot. We'll see. Yeah, this this area, no, you can place it right here. Um, I show the spots here and this one too. Um, actually, I really, it's not a good spot, but if you like wanna be a cheeky bastard, you can place um, um, barbed wire right here, right at the entrance, and place a gas grenade right about there, and you they will not see the light. So they will have to like come come here and destroy the, um, the destroy the like the um, the barbed wire, or they will have to come from these windows and you will anticipate them. So if they come from the, the entrance, from the main entrance, if you get on the camera, you see them coming. This whole area is gonna get smoked. So now we'll pass on the second floor, third floor, whatever you wanna call it. Okay guys, we are back um, with this video tutorial and we are gonna show, I'm gonna show you actually the um, first, first, yeah, first or second floor, whatever you wanna call it and I just wanna start off again with these pipes that I mentioned earlier uh, I said you can do it with every single one of them and as you can see there you go smoke smoke in the area you can place it i mean it's not even that hard and again as i said you want to place barbed wire right there to make everything easier so we started off with this thing actually which people say well it's just a block of sands you know no because if you, if you place this you can you can even go as far like you can even go deeper now I can't back, I can't get it up, like I can't get it um, again. But as you can see, it is definitely very useful. Now I'll show you um, the other one. There isn't pretty much nothing here, uh, apart from this other thing, which is was actually on the other floor too, and pretty much the same purpose. But this one is less useful because because people like. I mean, you can easily see it if you come from there, you can destroy it, you know. But again, it's a pretty cool smoke if someone tries to come from here inside the area. Now we're gonna move on to this room. Um, that is, I mean, people breach from this room, especially from like here. But I don't know, I don't find it that useful because it's hard to get intel on where the enemy actually is. So if, I mean, you can place things, you can place the bombs right under there bam, that's a smoke if anyone tries to come and rappel inside or uh, here for example no one can see that smoke again but um, yeah, this room is kinda empty, there is not much, not much to do this one is uh, just a little the bit better because there is only this entry point and this entry point so you kind of know where the enemy is going to come from and you can place a smoke bomb right there so if anyone comes to there as you can see he's going to get smoked or <laughs> a pretty funny spot is inside this little toy house you can place it whenever, you, whatever you want here, cause it's gonna be really hard to see. I mean, who's gonna, who's even gonna bother looking inside here? And bam, it will smoke in the entire surroundings. Now we're gonna tune into the main room, and um, you don't really wanna place them inside this area, but if you wanna, if you wanna surprise anyone coming from here, an extremely funny spot is gonna be here. Oh, okay, I don't know what, I don't know what the fuck was that, <laughs> that like, was that like a breaching charge, I don't know why, I, I'm playing a smoke, but whatever, it kind of sounded like a breaching charge, so you want, you can place this, 
and you can smoke this entire area. This is actually a really good spot if anyone tries to wrap it inside. I don't care if my battery is low. And um, another good spot is gonna be here behind that thing. It's really it's gonna be kinda hard. I'm gonna have to get it back up. But if you place it like right there. Smoke. And as you can see, it's gonna smoke this area too. The outside. Now there really isn't much else to show, but I got a really good spot um, here. So this is this is one of the most used uh, entry points, and these mannequins can prove a very like can prove very uh, useful if you place it behind them, behind their butt. Right there. You can smoke, uh, you need to place it, I, I placed it wrong there, you kinda wanna place it in a way so it's gonna fade, so it's gonna fade, the red light is gonna fade, you might wanna place it there, in a different, in, like in that way, but behind the, um, the mannequin, so you will smoke this area if anyone tries to come, and I'll actually try to take down these guys, because there is something I want to show you. Or not. <laughs> yes, it's me again. Uh, is Matt at the camera? Yeah. Where is the camera? Oh, such a cute one. But, <laughs> okay, jokes apart. Um, what I wanted to show you guys is... As you know, I was talking about that spot right there. That one. And this floor is actually, as you can see, breakable or half breachable. Like if you place a breach in charge there, you'll see that the thing go yellow. Wait, I think someone. Okay, no. But um, what I really love doing. Okay, yes, there is. What I absolutely love doing is placing a nitro. Right there. If you place another right there and you are upset, you see someone coming through there. Look what happens. Oh boy, I'm an attacker. I'm so smart. I'm gonna surprise them from it. And he's dead. D E A D. Dead. And that's such a good spot. Like, I've got. I mean, not many <laughs> because it, you can only use it on this map, but that is a really good spot if you actually get a kill there. It's pretty really satisfying if you place the C4 there. Um, I mean, they could like, if they breach from the floor from the floor that um, from the floor one for first floor or the main floor, and they go into the room where the C4 is. They, I mean, they might see it, but it's it's um. It's risk versus reward, you know. And here we are, guys, with the um, last floor we're gonna showcase. The top floor, obviously. And again, just wanna showcase it again and mention it. If you place barbed wire here and you put a smoke there, it bam, it's over for the team or for whoever comes from here. And most people actually do come from here, from this door. So you barricade it, or you place bar, you barricade place bar wire. And when you see someone coming near it, you see the bar wire move, bam, activated. Now this room, um, people, yeah, there are so many breaching points that it's really hard to like know where you wanna place it, know where, know where to place it. But some good spots I found are behind here. As you can see, I'll, you can see the light, but everything else is pretty much invisible. And it gives us a good smoke. A, a good, yeah, as you can see from the cloud, a good smoke. Or you can place it, again, hiding behind, hiding behind, hiding it behind here. I mean, I guess if he comes through here, he could see it, but in general, people don't see it. And what you could do. 
what what else you could do you could place it here look at that it's hey guys, like this room has uh, some pretty good parts mm, those are all of them now moving outside this room we have another one of these panels and again as i showed before There you go, you can just place it there, but yeah, kind of like the other one, people are going to have an echo sight, and they're going to see that there is a thing there, you plus you can see the light, the so I don't know how, vi how viable that is, but it's pretty, still pretty useful, and in this room, which only has two entry points, these things, these are going to be your lifesaver for bombs, for uh, gas grenades, like look at that it's it's pretty much invisible there is there is i mean le unless they throw a thatcher but seriously boom there you go i mean it's extremely useful and you could even do it here if you place it in a good position like get off right there that's like the perfect smoke it just it looks really cool and that's a really nice smoke another thing you could do is place it there i mean here like that as you can see but if you come from here you can see the light and it's not really the best i mean if they come through this window it could be useful even if they, or even if they come through here but i have another really good spot for this so yeah this room uh, I just want to say this is the objective room pretty much always I think it's the only objective like the objective can only spawn uh, here in this floor so you you do not want to place bombs there unless you want to team kill don't team kill please do not do not team kill um, I didn't kill him <laughs> the terrorist did now I want to show you guys probably the best pot I ever found uh, you could ever find that you could ever I mean, I haven't tried the other maps yet, um, I think only house, but there are some extremely good spots. And this in this ma in this map, and this one is probably the best one, like, look at this. There is no way, I mean, <laughs> there is really no way someone could see it, unless they're just looking through the window with the ACOG and they randomly see that, but if you play even if you don't place um, any um, barbed wires here and you just smoke it like that that just that just destroys everything everyone coming from the stairs if risking your life is not your thing another thing you can do which is um, still good but not as good I would say is place one right there and that is just a killer for everyone that actually comes through here this is mostly this one the one you can add here it's mostly a killer for people who are still on the stairs or just camping there trying to get a shot on someone right there or inside here as i said nothing in this room but on this room there are some and there is maybe like these mannequins this is the mannequin room i think and they are really good spots to hide them. As I showed before, you can like crouch and hide the bomb behind them. But it's really like... I haven't tested it on every mannequin, just a few. Plus, uh, I mean, people do be rich from here, but not always. So if anything, you could place one there. As smoke. So everyone rappelling from here is gonna be toast. Well, no, just dead. Ugh. Imagine a toast with gas grenade chemicals. Ugh. Yeah. And that is everything for this floor. I'm gonna just do a quick ra recap and see you later. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, so, we are here at the end of the video. And I'm just gonna make a little recap while this guy is in really hard pain can i, I should revive him no oh huh? throw revive no okay um but yeah seriously the recap of this video so um, smoke smoke is an operator that i wouldn't say it's kind of it's like termite 
but he's um he's one of the defenders that you want to keep alive so if you're roaming a smoke sure you can do that these are just some tips for this map only but maybe i'll see if i can do more maybe on house next but these are tips uh, on how and where to place smoke grenades in this map and just uh reminders as i said before you fuck's sake Double kill, okay. <laughs> they always breach from here, but yeah. Anyway, um, you on you usually wanna use um, if you're trying to go, if you wanna try this strategy, these bomb places that uh, I'm showing you guys, these grenade places. You. Oh, wrong wall, seriously. You want to place them uh, and you want to use uh, your bar wire instead of your gas can, instead of your nitro cell, sorry. So, because that is that is pretty much essential. You could be thinking that all these pots are useless. Maybe just one or two are, you will say, are useful because I, I wouldn't think, I wouldn't, I don't know how you will think they are not useful. But if you don't dislike this strategy or you are, you don't like it or you, you don't think it's um, effective enough, Try with the bar wire, try to put like a bar wire on the stairs as I showed before, right there, right here, and place a gas grenade right here. You m might, I mean, you might get even a kill, you might even get a kill, but you're definitely helping your team, uh, making the enemies just dying faster, with really, really like few shots, because they take damage from the gas grenade. So yeah, reminders, use um, use bar wire, use the shotgun if you want to make holes, you can try and make holes for more gas grenades, again, um, I didn't show every single one, every single spot, because you can place because technically you can place the gas grenades wherever you want, but obviously not every spot is gonna be effective and useful. It could be just a stupid spot. Like, and I didn't just place a thing here and say, "Oh, this is such a good spot." I try to find good spots and really well hidden spots, so they might actually be useful. And if you don't think they are, post in the comment below why. <coughs> and instead, if you think they are, oh, this is out of blood. If you think they are, if you think they are useful, um, tell me. Maybe you can tell me some other spots that you find if you like this strategy or if you like this thing and f of finding the good spot for um, traps. You can tell me in the comments or send me a screenshot, whatever you want. That guy's dead. And you you could help uh, making these videos for the gas grenades better than what I usually do since I'm not used to this type of video. Because as you saw, I had to do a lot of cuts. That's mainly because I couldn't just start up a private match. And it kinda sucks. But, I mean, I'm still proud of what I did. And uh, I hope the cuts don't bother you too much. They are not uh, in the end. Uh, they're not in the st at the start. But they are. They were necessary for me at the... Uh, I killed the hostage. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Fuck it. But yeah, I, like they were necessary at the end. Because I just had to run up and place the gas grenades really quickly to show the spots and the guys would already be there. So I had to do some necessary cuts. But hopefully you, you still like the video. And again, if you do, um, comment, always appreciated, like, always appreciated, and yeah, subscribe if you want. I'll see you later with another video for Rainbow Six Siege or whatever I have uh, in my mind. Have a good one.